guys, today we are going to be doing an Oily Skin Diaries review. We're putting a brand new foundation to the test on my oily skin. It is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir. If you live in the United States, it is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir. But this is new to CoverGirl's line, and I have basically loved every single foundation that CoverGirl has put out. I will link to my previous reviews of their foundations down below, but let's go ahead and get started. This foundation launched last month, so you should be able to see it in your local drugstores soon. If it's not in the permanent display, be sure to take a look around the store. It may show up in one of those weird random sections that new makeup comes to. It comes in a gorgeous glass bottle. I think that this looks so luxe and so high-end. Um, I love that you can see the shade of the foundation through because a lot of the time in the drugstore you don't have that opportunity to see if the shade is actually going to match for you, with you. It's got gold on it, very much appreciated, and a pump. So like that checks all the boxes for me. You get a full fluid ounce in here, which is the average size of a foundation. It comes in 14 different shades, and I feel like Covered Girl does a pretty good job with their ranges in the sense that it is an actual range of shades. Uh, so it goes from ivory all the way up to sable, I believe. So this foundation retails for about 10 or $15. Not sure that if I said that, but something to be mindful of is that the shade range is actually a little bit different from a lot of their other shades because I always wear classic tan and as soon as I looked at classic tan in this formula because it has a glass bottle luckily I was able to realize that that wasn't the shade for me so I have been wearing the shade warm beige which is actually starting to get a little bit light I'm starting to get some summer color so I'm going to combine that today with golden tan the nice thing about classic tan being deeper than normal is that the shade range is going to get even deeper um, because I don't know that I'll ever be able to wear classic tan so just be mindful of that when you're picking up your shade um, as you'll see in my swatches I have swatched the Vitalist foundation next to three of my other CoverGirl favorites all in classic tan and you'll see that classic tan looks about the same in the other range but in this range here it definitely um, has a bit of a different undertone and the shade itself is just quite different as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get into application. I've got a pump of the warm beige and a pump of the, the golden tan and I'm applying with a beauty sponge on this side. This one is from Sephora. I've actually really been liking it. Um, and I'm an NC42 at MAC if you're curious, but this foundation says that it's oil free, helps with oil control, but also gives like a luminous glow with, from within, like you're supposed to look like you have just good healthy skin. Um, claims to be full coverage as well and uh, lightweight. It has a slight scent, but nothing super perfumey, nothing like unbearable. So as you can see, it blends out quite quickly. And this is about, yeah, about a pump each of those two colors. So I actually cleaned my brushes last night and uh, none of my like dense buffing brushes are available for use right now. Um, but I do like it with a dense buffing brush. I like it with my Real Techniques buffing brush over something like a, a Sigma F80 or something super, super dense. Um, I find it can get like slightly streaky, but nothing that can't be blended out and nothing that after you powder doesn't look um, fine. I have been actually really quite liking this foundation. And one thing that I noticed about it the most was that at the end of the day, my blush and bronzer and everything just looked just as vibrant as when I applied it. So this foundation also has an SPF of 20, so I'll do a photo test to show you how it looks. And then it also lists that it has like skincare ingredients and vitamins in there. Um, I looked at the ingredients and it wasn't super obvious to me what those were, um, but that's what they say. I've also had requests in previous reviews to show more close-ups of my face so you can see the texture. Um, I think it looks really good. I don't think it looks cakey on my skin. It has a little bit of a glow, which I'm obviously going to powder down, but it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't like enhance my pores or anything crazy. So as you can see, I built it up to about a medium to full coverage. I wouldn't want to build it up any more than this. Personally, I find on my skin, the more I build up a foundation, the oilier it gets. And I definitely really like using this lightly and in about a medium coverage as well. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I'll be using the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara and their new mattifying setting powder, which has been out for a little while, but I do really, really like it. And then I will show you how it looks in photo. So I have the rest of my makeup on if you are curious how I felt about the Total Tease Mascara. I really like it and I'm also wearing one of the melting pouts which I have a full lip swatch video of. I will link to it down below. I asked you on Snapchat 
melting pouts or foundation first and these guys won so I will link to that but overall I think that this foundation looks really good so far it did it didn't like set down matte which it doesn't say that it's gonna do it does say that it helps with oil control and gives a glow so depending on your skin type if you have dry skin I don't think you'll need to set it because it definitely by no means stays super sticky but for me as someone with oily skin I gotta set it uh, in addition to that I feel like I like it in lighter layers than something heavier and more built up it definitely does feel lightweight on my skin I'm wearing about three and a half ish pumps or three pumps on my face normally I'll wear two at most but I do like the beauty blender application as I mentioned and I do like a kind of a fluffier dense brush if that makes sense for application as well in photos as on its own I think it looked good it did wash me out slightly but nothing crazy then with just my ring light and my camera I thought it looked good as well and then with the rest of my makeup on and flash it looked good slightly washed out but keep in mind there is SPF 20 in here so it could have ended up a lot worse but something to keep in mind if you do plan on wearing this at night so I'm gonna go ahead about the rest of my day I will show you how this held up at the end of it it is currently 856 so I am back it is at the end of my makeup day it is just after four o'clock and although I haven't had this foundation on for a really long period of time this is not my first time trying out the foundation but truth be told I'm really not feeling that well so I think I'm gonna like take a nap or get a bath and that's not really conducive to uh, a true foundation test so that you could compare it to my other tests but that being said uh, I have worn this foundation for about a week and a half two weeks now so I definitely have uh, some thoughts on it I am gonna blot a little bit I'm definitely a little bit shiny but keep in mind that my lighting always makes me uh, look a little bit shinier than what I am but I do have oily skin so a lot of the time what I'm looking for is does something hold up on my skin does it patch away does it break up does it oxidize and I don't think that this did any of those things I've worn this multiple ways with a brush I've worn it with a sponge I've worn it with primers with setting sprays and I really like it I have been enjoying reaching for it over the past week and a half I will continue to reach for it I think that if you have uh, incredibly oily skin it may not be like the best option ever but I do love the finish I love the coverage I think the shade range is good the price is good the packaging is good and you don't always necessarily want to go for like the mattest foundation ever and I do think that this has quite a beautiful finish I think it looks really good in photos I uploaded a photo on Instagram the other day in um, just kind of regular natural lighting and I had a lot of comments on my skin and I've worn it in a few videos and I've gotten lots of great comments so I do think that this is absolutely a beautiful foundation if you have combination to normal skin absolutely recommend and if you have a drier skin type you may be able to get a Way with not setting it or using a hydrating primer but by no means do I feel like it sets matte so I do feel like and I feel like this about a lot of covergirl foundations is that it's kind of like a unicorn in the sense that it can work for a lot of different skin types you'll also see that my highlight and my blush looks really good nothing has moved around and I've spent a, the majority of the day kind of lying around head on pillow head on hands and I did get a little bit of transfer but that happens with basically every foundation for me but I don't feel like it looks patchy on my skin I think it all still looks really good and it's a foundation that I will continue to reach for. So let me know down below if you have tried this foundation, what your skin type was, what your experience was, because everyone's going to have a different one with any makeup product, basically. So maybe you can help someone out in the comments section. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!